you guys, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and happy skincare Sunday. Today we're going to be talking all about the difference and my opinion between clinical and over-the-counter skincare as well as skincare in your 30s to 50s. How that needs to be addressed, approached, and changed as we age. So if you want to know more about that, hit that subscribe button and let's do this. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. Today, this is in a collaboration with my dear friend, Sharon Capehart. She has a beautiful channel, and um, I'll actually link it below so you guys can go follow her. Please do. Please go subscribe to her channel. She is one of those, I've talked to her on the phone a couple of times, over text. I have been subscribed to her for a while. I just find her so inspirational. She is positive. She is feisty. She lives in her power. And I absolutely love that. She is a life coach that helps people um, get a better version of themselves. She is all about clinical skincare. She just is a very uh, amazing source for a lot of educated information. So I hope that you guys go over there, watch her video after this, because she is going to be doing her take on skincare from 50 and beyond. So let's get started. So I want to first address, I had so many questions about, L. what do you think about the difference between clinical skincare? Now we're talking about stuff like Obagi, Skin Medica, um, Osmotic, uh, Osmosis. Um, we're talking about very high-end skincare. Uh, also brands that only dermatologists carry. So that is a large section of the industry. And then there's over-the-counter stuff, like stuff you can get at the drugstore, stuff you can get at Ulta, Sephora, anything like that. So basically, it's a mass market is what I call that. So I want to talk to you guys about the difference between it and my opinion on it. So as you age, I feel that you absolutely, of course, need to invest in your skin. Now, does that mean spending a ton of money? No. But I think it's using your money very strategically in very specific areas of your skincare. So, for example, I think all ages do not need to spend a ton of money on cleansers and uh, moisturizers. I just don't think so. I think that you can get a beautiful cleanser and moisturizer from CeraVe. It has a lot of ceramides in it. It's really clean ingredients, and I think you are good to go there. Now, do I spend money on cleansers and moisturizers? Yes, and it's just because I'm overindulgent, and I love those products. Uh, but there's also, I've done a video on affordable skincare that really works, and if you want to watch that, I will link it in the little white box above as I'm talking, and then also, too, at the end of this video. But there are affordable skincare that does work and you don't need to go clinical for those And that's really what the basis of this collaboration video was um, Or is I talked to her about this I said, you know I want to talk about where I feel the money needs to be spent and how it changes as we age so I feel that there are many products at Sephora and Ulta that are so affordable and really give you results. Now, there are also more clinical products from, you know, Skin Medica, Obagi. I mean, there's so many brands that you really need to incorporate. So let's chat about that. The difference between those product lines is usually the um, amount of active ingredients are a little bit higher in those more clinical strength brands. That is the traditional sense. So over-the-counter products, especially drugstore, you're going to need a lot more of those products to get the same result that you would get from even Sephora's products and even the higher-end products. Now, I do want to preface this with saying I am not a big fan of things like La Mer's, Chanel's, Dior's. Now, do I love the, the makeup? Yes. Do I love their skincare? No. To me, that is not clinical strength skincare. That is just a luxury brand making skincare. I'm talking about clinical. They come out as clinical strength brands. My favorite clinical strength brand is definitely Skin Medica. I think they make quality products, and that is my favorite, uh, you know, kind of clinical strength brand in that market. Now, I feel that you absolutely, from your 30s to 50s, can do a kind of 
combination of it all. Uh, she'll talk about more about kind of how things change as you get a little bit older, but I feel that when you're in your 30s and 50s, you can absolutely use a combination of a couple of types of products, so pr price range products. So, and so I really want to break this down kind of very simply. For the most part, the difference between products that you find in the drugstore, um, Target, things like that, and Sephora are usually for the, again, this is a generalization, have products in the drugstore are a lot lesser amount of active ingredients. So you're going to need more of them. So they're going to need to take a lot longer time for you to see any results. And you're going to need to keep continue buying them a little more often. Now we have Sephora. They, for the most part, have a lot more active ingredients in their line. So they're going to be more potent. You need to use less of them. And they're going to last you a lot longer. Okay. Um, and they usually are cleaner. So products from the drugstore, again, generalization, but for the most part are, are kind of filled with a bunch of fillers, fragrance, and not so great ingredients. So that is a decision that you guys need to make for yourselves on how you want to uh, do that skincare routine for you yourself. But then we have Sephora and then we have clinical strength. So the difference is that in clinical strength, they have a lot more active ingredients, a lot more potent ingredients, a lot more potent delivery systems. So again, you're going to need to use less buy it less often and more than the Sephora brand. So Sephora brand. So that's kind of, I wanted to be really clear about that. Now I have a little bit of a weird feeling when I talk about the Sephora and the clinical strength brands, because there are so many other brands coming out that have now kind of starting to corner the market where they are clinical, less expensive, and so much cleaner. Um, so there is going to be a slight divide there and, um, yeah, there's going to be a slight divide there that you're going to see over the next few months and years. So, um, um, but then there's also something I wanted to chat with you guys about, which is there are new skincare brands coming out of the market, like Beauty by Design, this new company that I have a whole video coming out on, which is called Sanage, Drunk Elephant, Maylove, Tatcha. Now, those to me have very, very quality ingredients and they do give you clinical results. So you're gonna see this happening more and more and more as time goes on is there's a lot more brands that are gonna be coming out, way too many for me to even like say in one video, but coming out and saying they are clinical strength, but they are easy, either using a lot more gentle ingredients or the delivery system of those ingredients is a lot more gentle, but they'll still give you the same results. And a lot more are getting clean, which I absolutely love. Those brands that I just talked about are clinical strength brands, and they are so far superior in cleanliness by us Biosense. Biosense is an amazing clinical strength brand that has very clean ingredients. So I'm so happy to hear this and to see this. So that's why you have to kind of take everything you hear with a grain of salt. Now, Skin Medica, I love a lot of their products, but if you look at the ingredients, same with Obagi, same with some other stuff, they have pretty harsh ingredients. Sometimes they have fragrance in them. Sometimes they have, um, you know, things like formaldehyde, and sometimes they have dimethicone and alcohols. So you have to be very careful. So my whole, as you can tell, as we're doing this green clean June, is this approach on finding products that really work that are clean and that are going to be classified as that kind of um, clinical strength products that actually do something. All right. So let's get into products that I really, really recommend for you guys. So in your 30s to 50s. Now, the reason why I group these in that demographic is because I'm right smack dab in the middle. I'm almost 40 years old and I use a combination of clinical and over the counter mass market. Yes, I feel that some of these are going to be higher price point. Again, if you want to see that video that I did on affordable skincare, please look it up because there are some amazing products there for beginners. Um, but I'm going to talk about products that I feel are a great in-between point between clinical and over-the-counter products that do really work. Okay, so 
Um, I think that, you know, I'm a big proponent of Tatcha. Uh, most of these brands like this of the Asian philosophy is they do not believe in uh, exfoliation of the skin in an aggressive way. So all of their ingredients are very effective, but yet they're not giving you acids like vitamin C. I mean, they have a mask, but you know, vitamin C or um, hyaluronic acid or glycolic, salicylic. So that type of brand you can feel good about using and know that the products are clean and that they will give you results. Now, Products like Drunk Elephants, I love the Sea Firma. Yes, I think it's really fantastic. It's very clean. But I think for a lesser price point, the May Love Glow Maker, you know I've talked about this many times. This is a clinical strength vitamin C ferulic acid serum, okay? And it does amazing things for the skin. Now, there's also um, De Dr. Dennis Gross. They have amazing clinical strength products. Now, you have to be careful. Again, just read your ingredients, but for the most part, they're fairly clean. Um, his eye serum, the retinol ferulic acid eye serum, is for sure clinical strength product. Over-the-counter, yes, a little pricey, but for sure, and you only need a little bit of these products, so they'll last you a lot longer. Now, Murad is a perfect example of a brand that kind of teeter-totters on mass market and clinical. Their retinol line is by far one of my favorite retinol lines that really drive it home, and they do fantastic products that give you results in that line. Now, they Alginus Collagen um, Unlock, this genius liquid collagen. I mean, it is bar none. Uh, amazing. This is a clinical strength collagen serum. It is so pricey, I can't get over it, but dude, it works. Um, you know, the, the Drunk Elephant, this is, I talked about these all before, so I'm not going to dive into why I think and what the ingredients are in these, but the eye serum from Drunk Elephant, it is fantastic. CoQ10, peptides, dude, amazing. Um, Ren. Ren is not a clinical strength brand, but between 30 and 50, I don't feel like you need to spend a ton of money on hyaluronic acid. This is the beauty shot. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, there's the this brand right here, but we talked about last week, which is the Lemieux TGFB Booster. Yes, it is a clinical strength brand. You can buy it. It is fantastic. Great price point. Really effective. Now, there's also brands like Beauty by Design. Beauty by Design's whole thing you know I talk about this all the time, is all about clinical strength products, but their delivery system is a lot more gentle, has no petrochemicals in it. It's just a really quality brand, all right? So that's another one. And you know I love their uh, vitamin C and their eye serum is one of my favorites. And then this brand, which I'll talk about again in further detail later on this month, is called Sonage. Sonage is something I was just introduced to when I was in LA. This brand, I can't wait to tell you about. It is by, by far probably one of the cleanest skincare brands um, that I have ever run into. And their delivery systems, like I just like Beauty by Design, is so amazing. They follow the EU standards of ingredients, and the products are clinical strength. But they don't cost a million dollars. They're very, very affordable. And then where I tell you to spend your money is on an eye, eye cream. This is by this is the TNS Eye Repair Skin Medica. Spend your money on eye serums, eye creams, and really quality serums. So where between 30 and 50, what I would do is I would spend your money on those eye creams and eye serums for sure. I also would spend my money on things like collagen serums. Um, this TGF booster, which is a peptide serum. And you really should start incorporating from your 40s to 50s your um, EGF, which is an epidermal growth factor serum. Uh, I know that, again, some of those more clinical brands, Sharon will talk to you about her favorite one. She's talked about it a million times, the dual chamber. Absolutely well worth the money. Really, really great results. So that is where I spend my money. And then you can get these amazing products that we just talked about for so inexpensive and know that they're really going to work. So, As we age, I do feel that we need to, um, you know, put more money into our skin. So things like the Clarisonic uh, Smart Profile Adapter for lifting and firming the skin that goes on your Clarisonic. Red Light Therapy, which we've talked about, which is the Dr. Dennis Gross. They have an eye, um, an eye mask or a full 
uh, red light therapy mask. I have, I have videos on all of this. You can find them all in my All About Skin playlist. Uh, that, and facials. Facials are so important. It doesn't have to be this exaggerated version of a facial. Just get a facial every six weeks, something very minimal, light exfoliation. You will see a big change in your skin. Now, we talk about skincare and we talk about using skincare so we feel young and our skin stays as young as possible for the longest possible. But you know, that's not really what life is about. Life is about feeling great in your skin. So whatever that is. So for me, it's taking care of my skin, investing in skincare because I love the way that it makes my skin feel. I love the way it makes me feel and it just makes me feel um, more put together and ready to kind of conquer the world and be out in my power. So skincare, beauty, makeup isn't all about what you look like on the inside, but what you look like on the, on the outside for most people or a lot of people makes you feel good on how you feel in the inside. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Go over to Sharon's channel, right you guys? I know you guys will love her. Lots of love for me to you. Bye you guys.